From PBS headquarters, the Puppet Broadcasting Station, welcome to HIP News. Reporting tonight, Shep Hurd and Eve McIntosh. Good evening and welcome to HIP News. I'm Shep Hurd. And I'm Eve McIntosh. Tonight's top story, thousands flock to their hometowns as Caesar Augustus has ordered a census. The census is being taken by the governor of Syria, Quirinius. The census of Quirinius is causing quite the kerfuffle amongst residents. Here to tell us more is our live reporter in Bethlehem, Pearl E. Gates. Pearl, how are the crowds responding to the census? The streets are absolutely packed, Shep. While there are soldiers here to help keep the peace, many visitors don't know where they're going. The noise level is deafening here as well. I can barely hear myself think. Let's talk to someone in the crowd. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Yes? What's your name? Joseph of Nazareth. Where are you from, Joseph? Uh, Nazareth. Ah, right. And how far have you had to travel to get here? About a hundred Roman miles. That doesn't sound too bad of a distance, especially for a young man like you. How long did that take you? Three days? Actually, it took almost a week. A week? Yeah. Traveling with me was my pregnant wife on the back of a donkey. And donkeys aren't exactly known for their speed. Wow. That sounds like quite an adventure. At least now that you're here, you can relax and take in the sights of your hometown, right? Well, not exactly. How so? Well, look around. There are so many people here already. By the time we arrived, there was nowhere to stay. So, after much searching, we managed to get a room in a stable. A stable? Yep. Fully outfitted with sheep and cows, too. But the hay is comfy. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for your time, Joseph of Nazarene. It's Nazareth. Right. Anywho, I'm going to keep following this story. In the meantime, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Pearl. Wow, Shep, can you imagine staying in a stable? I feel bad for his wife, too. Must be quite chaotic if the only place left in town are stables. It doesn't bode well for the rest of us procrastinators. We need to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with the latest developments. Pauline Silk's surprise tent super sale has been held over for another week with some extra intense deals. We have tents for every need. We have vacation tents, family tents, pop-up tents, bell tents, nomadic tents, and in-law tents for those who have need to reduce some tension this census season. And because I care, Van, you, our premium tents with Lucky Lots labored leather linens are down to ludicrously low prices. The latest tent designs with multi-room layouts and essential furniture are sure to please your ex-tented fam. So don't delay. Come visit Pauline Silk's giant tent super sale today. Touch, feel, and explore the fabric with your tenses. And make sure you come down quickly before this sale becomes past tense. Welcome back. We'd normally have a segment on the cost uh, of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, but we've been interrupted with more breaking news. What some have described as a plethora of bright, unidentified flying objects has just finished appearing to a group of shepherds. Others believe this bright source of light to be coming from a heavenly host of angels. To tell us more, Pearly Gates is in the field. A pasture, to be more specific just outside of Bethlehem. Pearl, what exactly is going on down there? Pearl here. Eyewitnesses are all claiming that this is not a UFO sighting, but rather, most definitely, a large choir of angels. Here with me are Omar and Mo, two shepherds who just bore witness to this sight. Tell me, Omar, what was the appearance like? It was nothing like I'd ever seen before. There were so many of them. We were terrified. And I think, I think, I think just this might be the best day of my life. Okay. 
Wow, Mo, did the angels appear for seemingly no reason? Or did they speak or make known their intentions? Why, indeed they did. Thankfully, I was able to memorize it. They said, and I quote, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause you great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Who is this Messiah and Lord that the angels spoke about? Is he a future prophet? We don't know. We're just your everyday shepherds. But we do know where to go to find the answers. Come on, guys. Pack your things. Let's go meet the Savior. At this point, I might as well be better off talking to the sheep to get information. Uh, excuse me, sheep? What do you make of these events? I see. And what do you think about the other commotion that's been happening so far this evening? I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be a sheep. I pray to the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Back to you in the studio. As always, thank you, Pearl, for your uh, amazing journalistic integrity on this story. Wait, hold on. Something just appeared in the sky. What? Is it another host of angels? No, it looks like it could be a star. I'm going to follow up on this. Sounds good, Pearl. In the meantime, we need to take a break. Wait, a break? I want to have a break. Have you been hiding the Kit Kats again? No, you cannot have a break. This is an ad break. Or an advent, if you will. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that. We'll be back after this message. How you doing? Are you looking for a new experience? Is your current ride not doing it for you? Then come on down to Tex Abrams Camelot in Bethlehem. All of our camels come with a 100% money pump back guarantee that you'll have a smooth, sure-footed ride. And they are food efficient too, being able to travel for many days on a single villa. Are you looking for more room? Get a camel with a second hump for comfortable multi-person traveling. Our lot is filled to the brim, so you can get a discount on this year's models. Oh, and need some trunk space? Not to worry, we have elephants too. So, what are you waiting for? Come on down to Tex Abrams Camelot in Bethlehem at 1216 Genesis Way today, where every day is hump day. And we're back. Once again, we take you directly to Pearly Gates, who is following up on her star-studded lead. Pearl, where has the tracking that star taken you? It's taken me back towards Bethlehem, Shep. While trying to correctly pinpoint the geo-coordinates of the star, I've run into three men who appear to be exceptionally wise. Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthazar. Gentlemen, please tell us why you're here and what you might know about this strange phenomenon. We are astrologers from the East. We have seen this star. East? Like from Baghdad? No, much further East. Anyway, we weren't exactly sure what to make of it ourselves. It just kind of appeared. One possible explanation is that several planets and other stars, such as Saturn and Jupiter, have aligned to create a bright spot in the sky. However, the current evidence makes us believe that there's more to the story. The star just appeared. If there were several planets and stars aligning, then we would have noticed. But that isn't the case here. From what we currently know, the star is a total mystery. Who would have guessed it would happen now of all times? Or maybe a supernova. Or maybe a comet. 
Yeah, after the stories I've reported on so far, I'd believe almost anything at this point. Do you know what this new star could mean? Oh, perhaps it could just be nothing. But everything points to it being something. We're going to keep following it to try and find out more. We believe it foretells the birth of a new king. A new king? That would certainly be something. Back to you in the studio. Wow, a new king? But how would that be possible? I don't really know. King Herod's palace has just released an official statement about the speculation. In part, it reads, King Herod and the royal palace deny any and all affiliation with a newborn having any claim to the throne. Anyone who claims of being a king is an imposter among us. However, if he is truly a future savior, and if anyone knows his location, we would be happy to praise him in person. Hmm, interesting. It seems like the palace could be a great ally. I mean, when has King Herod ever been bad before? Anyway, more news is coming up right after this quick break. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Jonah. Are you tired of political tension and drama? Are you sick and tired of your in-laws coming over for the Passover? Has your best sheep just gotten lost and is nowhere to be found? Instead, you could be having a whale of a time here at Psalm Beaches and Resorts. We have everything you could possibly need to have a criller time. Beaches, white sand, five shell hotel rooms, personalized meal plans, including five loaves of bread and two fish, and so much more. We even have entertainment for the whole family. Play counting games like One Fish, Two Fish, and Sailing on the Sea of Galilee. Woo! All of that and more is detailed right here. Sonar pamphlet, yours free of charge. We'll help restore your sense of porpoise, and soon enough you'll be fanatic to come back and visit us again. Don't feel like a drop in the ocean. Have a whale of a time here at Psalm Beaches and Resorts. That ad makes me feel absolutely beachy. Hey, Shep, what? we're back on the air. We are. <clears throat> we are. <clears throat> Welcome back. We're almost out of time for this newscast. But before we go, we have one last check-in with our reporter, Pearly Gates. Pearl, what have you managed to find out this time? Well, I was following that star from earlier, and just as I arrived at its source, I once again ran into Joseph of Nazarene from earlier in the program. It's Nazareth. Right. Anyways, what exactly is happening? You're attracting quite the attention here. Not to mention, you're at the center of tonight's breaking news. Actually, I'm not the center at all. No? What do you mean? You're directly under that big star. Oh, that? That's not for me. But... Who else could it be for? The Son of God. My wife just happens to be his mother. Wait, what? So the rumors are true? Praise be! I do believe we have the Son of God now on earth. Tell me more, what's his name? Jesus. Wow, you heard it here first. A Savior has been born in Bethlehem, and his name is Jesus. This is Pearl E. Gates signing off. I want to see our new king. Shep, Eve, back to you. Wow, what a sight. And I can't believe we reported on it first. I wonder if they'll make some sort of holiday on this historic event in the future. I bet they will. What would they call it, though? Jesus Day? Savior the Day? Jesus Miss? I think it'll be Christmas, Eve. Oh, right. That makes way more sense. Thank you for tuning in to Hip News. I'm Eve McIntosh. And I'm Shep Hurd. From all of us at PBS, the puppet broadcasting station, we wish you a Merry Christmas.